Hey guys, what's up, it's Raven. I always do a theme for my Christmas decorations and this year's theme is all pink everything, but I also decided that I wanted to turn the outside of my house into a gingerbread house. So it's gonna be all pink glam girly inside and Candyland gingerbread outside. That means I have a lot of stuff to buy, a lot of stuff to make and a lot of stuff to set up. So that's what I'm about to show you in this video. I went to at home Target and Hobby Lobby and I found, you know, a decent amount of stuff, but not nearly enough. So I still would want to go to Home Goods, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Michaels, and then like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross type of places. There's a lot more places that I need to go to check for pink Christmas decorations. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I think I'm gonna start with Walmart. So to make sure that I don't buy too much like mismatched stuff, like obviously it's pink, but like certain shades of pink clash with each other. So I wanna make sure that everything goes together. I took a few ornaments that I had already purchased and I just put them in this bag so I can take it with me to all the other stores so I can have something to compare back to. Like this kind of looks like the wrong color. So I might return that. What'd you say? Return that to the grocery store. The grocery store? Mm -hmm. I do have a few, like just a few pink themed ornaments from last year from the gingerbread theme that I did. I have like some stuff that's like kind of pink that I guess I could use. But as far as shopping, I'm also gonna be on the lookout for certain things that I can DIY and turn it pink. So stuff that might not be the right color, but maybe I can paint it or maybe I can bedazzle it or maybe I can do something to it to make it match the color scheme, stuff like that. Okay, I'm at Walmart, and so far this is what I found. I found a few things. Here's my reference material. So I found these. I found these little mini ornaments. Pig ballerinas, pink, glittery, nutcracker mini ornaments. I'm looking at the ribbon now. I found this pink rose gold snowflake glitter. So I'm thinking about getting maybe a few rolls of this to make bows to put around or even just use for um, my gift wrapping. I need to see if they have any pink wrapping paper. It's really not too much pink stuff. This is like rose gold, but like I feel like it's just not. I really would want something more pink than this. I'm seeing a lot of stuff that would go with my previous themes, of course, but we're past that. I have a bunch of these candy canes in red from previous years. They do have them in pink. It's not really like the right shade of pink because it's more like fuchsia, but I'm like, should I get it and mix it in, try to mix it in anyway? Maybe I'll just get a couple of them and see. Okay, so I'm about to go to Dollar Tree location number one. Like I've said in my previous videos, when it comes to Dollar Tree, you gotta go to multiple locations and you gotta check week after week because every location has different stuff and they get new stuff in every week. So this is just trip one, location one. Dollar Tree, obviously they don't have the most like magnificent stuff, but you can find like cute little stuff and stuff for like DIY projects, definitely. These are the same ones like at Walmart. They're the same price though. Okay, I wanted to do a quick little Walmart haul. I only went to Walmart and Dollar Tree and the only thing I got from Dollar Tree was the little hooks that you hang ornaments with because they really didn't have anything else, at least not yet, and at least not at that location, but I will continue to check, like I said. But I wanted to show you what all I got from Walmart. I got Candylicious Sweet, more gingerbread, more last year's theme stuff, only because as I mentioned in my other video, I'm thinking about making my front yard, front entryway gingerbread themed. So I have like some stuff that I could put outside from last year so that like the front outside of my house will still be gingerbread. But then when you walk in, everything is like all pink. So I couldn't resist this stuff that they had at Walmart that they did not have last year when I was doing this theme last year. And there's even more stuff, but my Walmart location didn't have a whole bunch. I might go to another Walmart to see if they have more, like more of this candy type stuff. Four of these, they're like gumdrop lights, I guess is kind of what they're supposed to look like. Like they're like sugar coated. I got two pink ones 
and two purple ones. Then I got these plain pink ornaments that I had already showed y'all in the store. A bunch of these little specialty, I couldn't really, this isn't really, like this is last year's theme, but it's pink. So is it this year's theme also? I don't know, I'm kind of stuck between last year and this year with all the like sweet stuff. So I just got this and then I just got pretty much all the other pink ornaments that they had in the store. If it was pink, I grabbed it. Alligator that's wearing a scarf, I got that. I did get two of the pink candy canes from Walmart as well. And I noticed at Dollar Tree, they had the red ones. They only had red ones and they were $3, which is the same price. I already have, I think, six of these red ones, which like I said, I think I'm gonna use this stuff outside. So even though it's not all pink, like it doesn't have to be all pink for the outside stuff. The outside stuff is just like candy gingerbread stuff. And I have these ones as well that light up. These things that are made to look like gumballs and icing that I made last year that I wanna like use for my front entryway leading up to my house. I have a bunch of them and these are just um, like bouncy balls and spray foam, insulation foam. Definitely go watch my videos from last year of me making all of this stuff if you haven't seen it already. Okay, so I have my trees already kind of like in place. I put these skinny trees together. I have the big tree. I have like all my little mini trees, one there some over there. So like I've started to pull stuff out and obviously I've been doing my shopping and stuff. Obviously there's no ornaments on the tree. There's no garland on the stairs. There's no details actually put up, but I actually think I'm going to start outside because I am gonna just be reusing my gingerbread stuff from last year mainly. It's November 16th. So, you know, literally it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but I don't care. I'm not putting up Thanksgiving decorations. What even is a Thanksgiving, a pumpkin, a leaf, a turkey. I don't have Thanksgiving decorations. I'm not doing Thanksgiving. De We're not doing fall harvest. We're skipping that. We're going straight to Christmas. So here are all of my main jumbo gingerbread props from last year. We've got gumballs and gumdrops and hard candies and candy canes and light up candy canes and cupcakes and giant lollipops and pink candy canes and red candy canes and gingerbread trees and gingerbread men and icing with candies. I need to figure out where I wanna put like this main stuff. Okay, just starting in here by my front door. I'm thinking about putting the lollipops in these plant beds. And then these cookie Christmas trees, they go like this. Okay, so lollipops, cookie trees, bougie. I also added the pink candy canes into the plant just to make it look like it's like a bundle of candy. And this is all made out of like waterproof type material. So I'm not worried about this being outside. Same thing with this. This is made out of wood and paint and caulk. So it should be fine. This inside piece is made out of like a paper type poster board thing, but it's all wrapped in plastic and like sealed in plastic. This is just a hula hoop and like a broomstick. So I think because it's like all wrapped in plastic, it should be fine, like if it gets wet. And then for these, I really wanna put it like here on my front gate. I need to figure out how I can attach it securely though. So I put candy canes on either side and then here's what I have so far on the gate. I just attached it by poking holes through the foam and using some string to tie it on, which seems pretty sturdy. I wanna take this other big piece of this stuff and put it up on the top going across the front door. So I have a command hook that I'm gonna try and use. Candy wreath it definitely has to go on the front door because it goes with all the candy stuff. Let's 
so that is what this is looking like, at least so far, with the candy wreath on there. I might add more of that going down the sides of the door if I can figure out how to do that or like make more of it. I would like to get a holiday doormat. That would be nice. I wanna use this stuff to kind of line the sidewalk leading up to the front gate. So like going along here and here, like an alternating pattern, I think, hopefully. I did wanna go to a different Walmart and see if they had more of these because I know there's like different ones like cupcakes and I think lollipops that I would want to incorporate but I'm gonna kind of get started with it and then go back to the store I guess at some point and see if I can find some more to add to it I just put the candy canes in place for now I also ended up putting the rest of my red candy canes on my lights like I just hooked them around the light so I have like one, two, three, ow, this just stabbed me. Four, all going across the front of my house. And then these two that I just sat here. Oh, this one's bent, what the heck happened to that one? <laughs> Okay, I'm at the other Walmart location now. This is what I call the bougie Walmart location. It's just like nicer and like in a nicer area. And I remember from last year, they had way more Christmas stuff and they literally have like entire collections of Christmas stuff that was not at all at the other location. Like all this like cute neutral stuff, all this stuff, all this colorful stuff. They didn't have none of this at the other location. So like I always tell y'all, y'all gotta go to different locations to find the stuff. Of course you can always shop online, but sometimes it's nice to see the stuff in person. Oh, that's cute. Dolphin. Ice cream. Popsicle. I didn't have these either. Another one. Okay, hippo. More pink stuff. This, I don't really like this one. I don't really like this one either. Here's everything so far. It's just a little owl and a little bird. They have all this freaking gingerbread stuff that I really could have used last year. I feel like this is more like hot pink, like not really the right shade of pink. Is this pink? Kinda. Let me check my reference material. Reference material of stuff I've already purchased versus this rose gold set. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna think about it. Oh, look. Little mini bottle brush trees. In the mini section, they have these, which I didn't see, pink and gold, rose gold and gold. I'm gonna get some of these for my mini tree. Oh, they have these little bows. Should I get that? Oh, and this bow. Should I get one more box of these for my mini trees? I think yes. Now what I really came here looking for is those other Cupcake Candyland yard steak things. But I'm not seeing them at all. Any pink gift wrap? No. I literally don't see not one pink piece of gift wrap, gift bag, gift box anything pink at all. This is an example of something that I could maybe paint, like spray paint pink, because they only come in this like black, white, red, gold color scheme. But I like the jumbo size and the texture of them. It's $22 for a set of three though, so I don't know. Okay, I had to get these that I saw when I first walked in the store. I got two of them. You just blow them up and you can put them outside. Since I'm like trying to turn the outside of my house into a gingerbread house this year and I can't use the ones that I made out of like poster board, these would be a lot better to have gingerbread men. And I feel like I could even like paint and put stuff on them to make them like even cuter. I already have one row of these in my front yard, but I'm debating on getting more so I can do another row going down the other side of my driveway. I just don't know how I would plug it in because I don't have a plug over there. I would have to get like a really long extension cord. Found it, literally almost missed it because it was like the last aisle like towards the back of the store. They don't have that much, but they do have one of these. Definitely getting that. Should I get a blue one? I wanted purple. Oh, one cupcake left. 
Oh, this is not the color I wanted though. Okay, I grabbed the last cupcake they had, the pink lollipop and a blue lollipop. These are all sold out online, so you can only get what they have in store. The other store didn't have any of this stuff, so I'm just gonna grab this while I can and maybe try to check another in-store location. I'm at a different Target location than I went to before. They don't have a whole lot, but I did find this set that I didn't see before. They only had one of these left when I bought it the other day, so I got two more. Three of these, which I didn't see at the other location. This little dinosaur, these little pink gear, and a little pink van, but that's all the pink stuff they had here. All right, now that I'm back from shopping, I wanna continue working on the outside of my house. I am very inspired now to just turn the whole outside of my house into a gingerbread house as much as possible. Since last year, I didn't have any of this stuff outside. We're putting on a show for the neighbors this year. So I think I can take these pieces and put them up there. Two of these next to each other should be the right size. As far as my candy cane lane thing, I went ahead and put these in place. Um, I'm glad that I saved all my little stuff from Halloween. These are what I had to use to stab the tombstones into the grass for Halloween. They're like little metal spikes that I had because I did have to use them with these things. These didn't come with anything to actually stab into the ground. It's just like this and it's not sharp or skinny enough to just like stab straight in, at least not my ground, I don't know. So I put a little metal spike in first and then this is hollow so then I just slide that on top. Little alternating pattern of my light up candy canes, lollipop, little thing, little snowflake. Okay, so here's what I got so far. I just need to get one, two, three, maybe four to finish off that corner over there. Four more of these light up candy canes. I had these candy canes from last year. I had like one, two, three, four, five, six, like six or eight of them. And I just hooked them on to the branches. It kind of looks like it's a candy cane tree. Like candy canes are growing on my trees. I don't know. Okay, it is the day after Thanksgiving, also known as Black Friday, also known as the day that most people start putting up their Christmas decorations, I think, even though I obviously already started. We have not started putting the ornaments on the trees or doing any of that extra stuff. So even though I don't have everything that I need yet, and I know I still wanna do more shopping and more DIY, I wanna at least start with putting what I do have so far on the tree so we can see what we're working with, see where we need to fill in, so on and so forth. We have two main trees that we need to start decorating. Obviously the main 12 foot tree, which you see here. For the 12 foot tree, I've decided that that one is going to only have, um, what would you call it? Ornament ornaments, not object ornaments just ornament ornaments. So this is an ornament ornament, this is an ornament ornament, this is an ornament, it's a circle. It's just an ornament. It's not supposed to look like a certain object. So all of these are gonna go on the 12 foot tree. But also, this is an ornament ornament. It's not a circle, it's a shape, but it's just like a decorative shape. It's not like a trying to be an object. So this can go on the 12 foot tree. Also these. On the contrary, over here on the six foot tree, this is where the shapes go. And what I mean by shapes is like objects, like it's a deer, it's a milkshake, it's a camera. So all these like object ornaments are gonna go on this tree. This tree will only have objects and that tree will only have non-objects. And I think that'll be like a cute theme. Now, I thought I had some pink stuff left over from last year's gingerbread theme. I actually only had these two things and this one's not even fully pink, but it has pink icing on it, so I'm gonna count it. This one is like a pink and white cake pop, so I'm gonna count it. I have this, which I used as like a tree topper last year which is mainly pink, so I may use this as a tree topper, maybe on this tree. And then I have these little DIY paper, they're supposed to look like candies, that were pink from last year, so I may incorporate these, but that's all I had. I thought I had more, but I bought a bunch. So here is my collection of pink object ornaments. Like I said, I only had like two from last year, so these are all the ones that I've bought and most of them are from Walmart. Animals, sweets, just random objects, 
This one's from Target. We got a dinosaur, we got a nice mix of stuff. I feel like it still may not be enough to fill up this whole tree, so we're gonna continue shopping for more, but we can at least get started with these. Now the question is, does a snowflake count as an object for the object tree? or does it count as just an ornament for the ornament tree? I feel like it's an object, right? I feel like it goes with these. So I have these three snowflakes to add into the mix as well. And then I also have this big pack of, let's see how many are in here, 18. 18 snowflakes in here. These ones aren't very pink though. I'm not really loving this color, so I might save these. I might end up returning these. And then here's everything for just the regular ornament tree for this big tree. These are all the ones that I'm like happy with the color. I think it's like a good combination of colors, kind of, I think. I also have all of my white ornaments from previously. They're kind of all like this, like either glitter or kind of snowy texture. So I'm gonna mix in those with the pink, I think. These are the three boxes that I'm like, mm, I don't think I like the color. I think I'm probably gonna end up returning these three just cause that looks more purple. This looks more like gray, I don't know. I did also get two boxes of these little mini ornaments for my two mini trees right here. So one for that one and one for this one, which is currently decorated gold. That was just for a sponsored post, but I actually wanna switch it and make it pink. So Zaya, the first step, I know you've been waiting for this moment to get started decorating the trees, but the first step is actually to put the hooks on the ornaments because these new ornaments, none of these have any hooks on there. So you have to put these on the ornaments first. And I think that's a perfect job for your perfect little fingers. And the baby. And the baby can help. Okay, so now all of these ornaments have been prepped and hookified. So all of these have the hooks added now. Here's all the trash from that. And I had to take all the little individual tags off of these other ones. The good thing about these specialty ornaments is that they normally come with little loops already so you don't have to add hooks. So these are pretty much all good to go. Next step is fluffing out the trees before we add any ornaments to it. You've gotta like bend and arrange every little branch to make it look right, and that is kind of time consuming. That's my least favorite part, honestly. It honestly isn't so bad to do it on a tree of this size, but on a tree of this size, <laughs> climbing up and down the ladder to fix every little branch. All right, y'all, I'm ashamed of myself. It's literally December 1st, and I have made like no progress. The trees still do not have any ornaments on them. I've got all my ornaments, or most of my ornaments, like laid out, ready to go, but I still haven't, you know, put anything on the trees, including the big main tree. We put all the hooks on the ornaments, but like nothing else has been done. I did do some more shopping, some disappointing shopping though, because there were some things that I saw during my first shopping trips that I was like, oh, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, so I didn't buy it. But after I like fully decided on my theme and everything, I was like, okay, I do want to go back and get a bunch of that stuff that I saw the first time. Went back all the stores were like sold out of like everything I wanted. So I've been having a lot of disappointing shopping trips of not being able to get what I want. Today I did have more luck though. So I ended up going to Ross. I found a few more specialty ornaments for the specialty ornament tree. This little unicorn birthday cake, which I had to get because this is exactly the cake that I made for Zaya for her second birthday like almost exactly, so I had to get that. And then I went to Dollar Tree. They had pink wrapping paper, not the best wrapping paper in the world, but at least I'll have some sort of pink wrapping paper for my presents because I have not been able to find any other. And then I got these plastic plates. They're not like paper plates. They're like more almost like real plates, like heavy duty or plastic. I got some pink and then some white. I plan on painting these and using them to look like candies 
for my outdoor decorations, you'll see later. And then I got some supplies for our Christmas party. I am doing a big Christmas party again this year. I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video about the party and planning and everything that goes into that. So stay tuned for that video to see what all that stuff is. But then I went to a third Walmart location and I found this different gingerbread man blow up. This is like a bigger one that has like different details than the other one that I already got. I found a few more pink ornaments that I have not seen at any of the other Walmart locations. This little hummingbird, this unicorn, and then this cupcake, which I was missing from my collection. I also saw this and a whole section of stuff that was not at any of the other Walmarts. They literally all carry different stuff. Like this Walmart had a whole section. Whatever this brand is, none of the other Walmarts even had any of this stuff. They had like a whole different section. So I got this. I also got these to use for like my candy decorations outside. I got this stocking for Zaya because it's pink. You know, it's like that pink metallic that kind of matches with the other stuff, but it's a mermaid. And you know, Zaya loves mermaids. So this will be her stocking. And I found a little mini one for Bougie. I always give Bougie a little mini stocking to hang with ours. So I had to get the pink mini stocking for Bougie. And lastly, I got two packs of this iridescent garland. I was really on the hunt for pink garland to incorporate, but I checked literally everywhere. I also went to Party City. They didn't have nothing good, but I have not been able to find pink garland anywhere. So I just settled for this because it kind of has a little bit of a pink reflection to it. The last things that I got are these four guys. So I was at Walmart first. I really wanted the big six foot nutcrackers. It's been this whole saga. I've been posting about it on my Instagram stories. I don't know if y'all saw that. Long story short, they had these really cool six foot nutcrackers, but they went viral. They sold out. I didn't get one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get any, but I came across these little mini guys that are not as cool not as cute and not as tall but the whole thing is people are getting them and they're repainting them and customizing them to match their theme so i was going to repaint mine with like a pink theme so i settled for these two smaller guys i don't really love their faces like they don't have as nice of a design as the other ones i really wanted but i was like i'm not gonna miss out so i went ahead and bought them but then I went to Home Depot after that and I saw these guys and I was like, I already bought these, but these are actually like nutcrackers. Like they actually look much better, like the detail. So I bought these as well because I can return these. And then I really wasn't sure. I was like, well, these are going to be a lot more work to repaint because they have a lot more detail, but it's going to look better. And they light up. They all light up. These light up like that. I'm definitely leaning more towards these just because like they're nicer overall. They were like $60 each. The big ones from Walmart that I originally wanted are $150 each. So it's like whatever. But that's a project that I have to do is repaint and customize those two nutcrackers. So stay tuned for that. But like I said, it's literally December 1st and normally I feel like I would have all of my stuff like done by today, yet I feel like I'm just barely starting today. So I feel like I'm really running behind, especially with the fact that I am having a Christmas party in two weeks and I need everything to be done before then. So literally it's like crunch time now. I'm like, get it together. We need to put the freaking ornaments on the tree. We need to hang the decorations up. We need to get the outside outdoor decor fully done. I have DIYs to do. I have nutcrackers to repaint. Like, ugh. And I just feel like I have no help. Zaya's gonna help me though. She's gonna at least try to help me get started with putting the ornaments on the tree now. Okay, so finally I actually started with this tree. This is like the fun tree. So I wanted to wrap it with this stuff first. Just wanna see the little sparkle poking through. White iridescent garland is wrapped around the tree. Now I can start putting all of these novelty ornaments on there. Okay, so I'm finishing up this tree. I just have a few more things left, but it is coming along. Zaya has started on this little mini tree over here. She is doing a good job of adding hooks to each little mini ornament. And we also have this tree that she's gonna do 
I got all the pink novelty ornaments on this tree now. It's still missing a tree skirt. Still figuring that out. I did not end up using my little DIY candy stuff from last year because I just didn't like the way it looked. And I put a butterfly as the tree topper. And then you can see the little iridescent garland. And then I decided to just place this little thing, I guess over here. Huh? Is that what it is? I thought it was a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's a unicorn horn. Well, unicorn horn slash Christmas tree. I put it over here with this table because this table kind of has a mix of gold and pink. So this tree has like some gold garland. Okay, so this little mini tree is done. I have a little mini string of fairy lights on it. So it lights up, pink and gold thing going on here so far. And then coffee table needs some work, but this tree is done. The fairy lights on this one broke because I forgot to take the batteries out last year and the batteries corroded, you know, when they like explode. And so I'll have to try to find another set of fairy lights to put on here. Friendly reminder to take your batteries out of your holiday things before you store them away. But yeah, that's what we've got going so far. I definitely want to fully style the coffee table with some other stuff so we'll see I actually forgot about one more bag of stuff I went back to at home I was disappointed because there was a lot of stuff I saw the first time that I wanted but it was sold out but I did find a few things I found these little donut stems I don't even know what you would call this but I got it's a what donut tree top Okay, donut tree toppers. I got four of them for the fun tree. I almost forgot. I wanted to stick these in this tree, like towards the top. Let me see. It looked good in my head, but let me see. Okay, I actually think that's really cute. I'm glad I remembered I had those. I don't know if it's really giving y'all the full effect. I know the lighting is a little dim right now but it just adds a little a little fun whimsical razzle dazzle to our mismatched tree but it also kind of goes together because i have a lot of sweets on here and i have like this donut you know so it kind of coordinates also from that shopping trip i got this little thingy piece of wood that says merry christmas but i just got it because i liked the pink color and i thought i could either put it somewhere here or on the coffee table. Uh, I don't like that. I think I'm gonna end up putting it on the coffee table once I figure out, you know, the rest of the coffee table situation. And then I got a couple more pink sparkly ornaments. So I need to add these. This is like a swan and then a set of some prancing reindeer. So I need to add these to this tree. And then lastly, from that shopping trip, I got two of these blow up giant inflatable ornaments. I got a pink one, which I mean, I hope it's a nice shade of pink. And then I got a white one. And these are four feet tall, indoor and outdoor. I actually was wanting to put them indoor. I don't know where I thought I was gonna put these inside my house. I mean, I could also put them outside, but they more so go with the inside theme, not the outside theme. And then I even thought that I could like customize them by putting my own sort of like design or pattern, whether I paint it or make some vinyl cutouts with the Cricut maker or something that I could like put on here, put glitter on it to just give them some razzle dazzle because they're so plain. We're gonna have to wait and see what I actually end up doing with these. All right, it's a new day. We're jumping all over the place here, but I want to blow up all of the blow up things I have and see what they're looking like. I'm gonna start with this one. I got the gingerbread men to go outside because that goes with the outside theme. But then I have what I just showed y'all, the giant things. We're just gonna see because I really don't know where I'm gonna put them or what, but let's see. This is the cuter gingerbread man. Oh wait, oh, this is one of the ones where it has to be like plugged in at all times and blowing at all times to stay up, I think. Whereas these ones, okay, yeah. This one is like, has to be plugged in, has to be blowing to stay up. This one is more like a blow up thing. You just blow it up and put it outside. I thought this was gonna be blow it up and put it outside too. That's kind of annoying because then I have to like hook this up outside with an extension cord and I don't even know if I have 
another extension cord for where I would want to put this like out in my yard. Let me just try it inside first to see. Oh yeah, you just plug it in and it starts going. Standing up. Okay, he's cute, I like him. Wait, go stand next to him for size. Stand right next to him. Cute, I like that one. But yeah, it has to be plugged in at all times. So I'll have to find like an extension cord to be able to put it out in the front yard. So this one was just like an inflatable. You literally just blow it up, plug it up, and it just stays like that. And it does have the little things to stake it down in your yard as well. So this one's easier because it'll just stay like that and it's weather resistant or whatever. So that's easy to just set out in the yard. The other one's more annoying because it has to be constantly plugged in, but let me go put them out there and figure it out. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put these in the grass along with this one based on the extension cord situation. I gotta figure that out. First, I'm fixing my little candy pathway because I bought some extra candy canes to like finish it out. I also found a couple more of these things, I'm not gonna put that right there. I found a pink cupcake, I only had the blue cupcake before, and I found a couple more things to put more stuff along this edge. So I just added these green ones just now. Okay, so here's the update. I did green candy canes, then I did three red ones, three more green ones that I added, and then I had all these red ones that were connected together, so I just extended it out further. Okay, now for the gingerbread mix. Cute. Unfortunately, my icing strips oxidized. They were white, but they turned yellow due to the sunlight. I forgot that this stuff does that in sunlight. They were fine before because I used them inside, so they didn't oxidize, but now that they've been outside for a few days, they're yellow and it doesn't look as good, so I'm gonna have to get some white paint and paint over them. Back to these other blow up things, the giant pink ornament. So this is the pink color that it turned out to be. It's definitely like, it's a pretty bubblegum pink, you know? I guess it's an okay shade of pink. Oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be really big. I feel like this is gonna take a while to inflate. It's really big. And these are just plain giant ornaments. There's nothing candy or gingerbread about it. So it wouldn't really go with the outside theme, although you can put these outside. It just wouldn't really make sense with my theme outside. I was gonna put them inside, but I know they're gonna be so big. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I really don't know why I bought this, but I was just super curious. Let's see. Top part separately. It's huge. Where should we put it? Just like that. It is once again a new day. Why is this taking me so long this year? I don't know. The days keep going by. The trees keep not being decorated. Um, I made a little progress. I fluffed out these trees, these two, and these two, which takes longer than you might think because I literally grab every single little branch here and I bend and I straighten it and I place it where it needs to be placed for the trees to look correct because they get all crunched up in storage. So, finally did that, that's my least favorite part. Now, I want to take this spray-on snow spray that I got from Michaels, I think. I know they have it at Walmart as well. And I want to re-snowify my flocked trees. All of my trees are flocked, but some of the flocking sheds more than others, and I feel like these have shed a lot, so they're not looking as snowy. So apparently you can touch it up with this. I've never tried this before. Oh, okay. Okay, it pretty much matches like exactly what was already on the trees. I probably should be doing this like outside, but oh well. So it definitely worked. It gave a nice effect. Um, like I said, I recommend doing this outside because 
I did get some overspray. Low key, the big tree needs it because this tree sheds really bad too and it's starting to not really have a lot of snow on it. So I might try and spray this. I only have one can of this stuff though, so I don't know how far I'm gonna get <laughs> with this 12 foot tree. Okay, so I sprayed these two trees down with the snow flocking stuff. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference, but I definitely can and it looks a lot better to me. Unfortunately, I did run out. So this one can was only enough to do these four skinny trees. Definitely not nearly enough to even start on the big tree. If I want to do that, I have to do this first before I put the ornaments on the tree. And I was really going to force myself to finally put the ornaments on this freaking tree because I've been procrastinating for weeks. And I was like, I'm doing it tonight. Like no excuses, I'm putting the ornaments on this tree tonight. But now I'm like, no, I wanna spray it first, but I ran out of spray. Do I go to the store right now and try to find more spray so that I can spray it? But then you gotta let it dry. I don't know how long it takes to dry. I just feel like I'm never gonna decorate this freaking tree. I really wanna spray it. But I have to go to the store, get the spray, spray it down, wait for it to dry. That means I'm definitely not putting ornaments on this tree tonight. It's already five o'clock. All right, tis dark now. I worked on fluffing out all the branches of this tree. Honestly, you could still use a little bit more fluffing. I also realized that it's something wrong with the top of the tree. I don't know if you guys can tell. Why is it sitting sideways like that? Why is it leaning like the leaning tower piece? It look a little and I tried to like fix it, but I think the actual structure of it got bent or damaged in storage because like I can't get it to go straight. And it's so tall and I'm on the tippy top of this tall ladder trying to mess with it and it's just really hard to, I just couldn't get it. Once again, another day passes without putting ornaments on this freaking tree. All right, next day, once again, the saga continues and we're about to get real crafty up in here because like I was saying, I've been having trouble finding pre-made pink Christmas decorations. Christmas decorations just don't often come in the color pink is what I'm learning. So we're gonna have to make them be pink. So I went back out shopping again. We went to Hobby Lobby. Um, I went to some other places. I was completely unsuccessful. I was only successful at Hobby Lobby and good old Dollar Tree. Remember, we're doing gingerbread outside, pink inside. For the gingerbread outside, I came up with this. Now, I might not be the first person to do it like this, but I haven't seen it anywhere yet. Dollar Tree has these little candy bowls, like little serving dishes with the base on it. Take two of them, put them together. What does that look like? Do you see the vision? If I glue two together, what does that look like? It looks like a piece of wrapped hard candies. I'm gonna glue these together and do something with that. For outside, they're like hard plastic, so it'll be like weatherproof to put them outside. And blue, and I wanted it in pink, but they were all sold out of the pink ones. So I'm gonna go check another location, maybe tomorrow and try to get a pink one. Along those same lines, this DIY I definitely did not make up. And I even did it last year with some different bowls, but um, they broke, so I wanted to remake it, and these colors are cuter. So basically what you do is you take two bowls, put them like this, glue them together, and what does that look like? The top of a lollipop. Now for the lollipop stick, you use broomsticks, and you can also get these at the Dollar Tree. They sell the broomsticks separately, so you just get the stick part. I'm gonna paint it white, just like I did last year, and you basically attach the bowls to the stick like this and it makes a lollipop. I don't think they had purple. So I have like mismatched colors, but again, I'm gonna go back and see what else I can find to make more of those to go outside. I would like to stick them out in my front yard. I did this DIY last year, so you guys can watch my gingerbread DIY video to see me making it. Something else I also found at Dollar Tree are these candy plates. The red ones are cute, but I got six of them because I only had red, but I was like, I can spray paint these to make my own custom candy colors, like pink, blue, purple. And these are also like hard plastic, so I can put them outside. And I basically plan to just stick them to the outside of my house. I got a bunch of rhinestones to use to yassify my nutcrackers. So like I mentioned before, these two guys are gonna get completely 
glamorized and pinkified and yesified. So I have like all these stones that I got from Dollar Tree that I wanna add on, as well as all the paint colors that I need to repaint these into beautiful pink sparkly outfits and also change their skin tones to darker skin tones. So I got the paint for that. And I had already gotten Bougie a little mini stocking, but this one was cuter because it's metallic. So I had to get this one as well. He already has one, but now he has two, I guess. Another little DIY that I have to do because again, I'm not finding stuff in pink. I need a tree skirt for the tree that's over there and I cannot find a good pink tree skirt. So what I did was I bought a white fluffy tree skirt and I bought pink fabric dye. I'm gonna try and dye this pink. I don't know if it's gonna work at all. I did also find some new pink decorations that they did not have. Last time I was at Hobby Lobby, bottle brush tree, which I can add to my bottle brush collection. These two little ice cream cone ornaments, which will go on that tree back there, as well as these pink glitter high heels. I did find myself a pink stocking. I want to bedazzle it because it's kind of plain. And then I got all these pink bows to maybe, I think I'm gonna put these on my little small skinny trees. I'm not sure yet, but I just got a bunch of them. And lastly, I got a bunch of pink cardstock paper because I wanna do this snowflake DIY. I got a couple different shades and then some glitter paper. I'm gonna use the Cricut to cut out snowflakes and make like snowflake garland. <sighs> One simple little DIY that I'm gonna do, if you remember these, candy jars from last year. Doesn't match the theme because it's multicolored, so to make it match the theme, I'm gonna put only all pink ones in there and just switch it out. So just dump these ones out and put the pink ones in so it'll just be like pink gumballs. Cute. All right, I'm boiling a big pot of water. I'm gonna use my big ice bucket that I normally use at parties as my container. <laughs> And I'm doing it in the glam room shower, which is my least cared about shower, I guess, just in case anything goes wrong. I'm gonna fill it up with the hottest water I can get out of the tap and then add boiling water to it to try to make it hotter. Worst case scenario, the dye doesn't take at all and I don't, I don't know, but I'm about to just put this in and wet it down. Don't try this at home, kids. Do not try this at home. Okay. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, that definitely brought the temperature up. You're supposed to add in dish soap, salt, and they say you can also do vinegar. I'm saying like a whole cup of salt, which is like this whole freaking container. Are we gonna pour this whole thing in there? Oh no. Why is it that color? Let me see if I have something to add to it. Okay, wait, I found this in the handy dandy craft room. See, being a craft hoarder comes in clutch. I forgot I had my favorite sweatpants on and I definitely splashed them. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Yes, I took my pants off. My business. Okay, well, we're gonna let that soak for a bit. <laughs> So I ended up spray painting all of them. I didn't leave any of them red because I just thought these candy colors were cuter. So now since they have this kind of striped texture on it, I wanna paint some white stripes onto them. I'm just gonna use this white acrylic paint. While these are drying, I'm going to work on my plastic plates that I also got from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna turn these into basically like these. These are actually more papery, so I don't think they're gonna hold up well for what I wanna use them for, but I'm basically wanting to do this pattern onto these actual plastic plates. Okay, just kidding, that was too hard. So I cut one of these plates into a stencil. I can spray paint these and it'll be so much easier. So let's Let's see. All right, I let 
let this soak in here for like an hour because I wasn't sure if the color was really going to take super well. What do I do with this? Oh, this is heavy. Oh no, it's, it's squashing right now. Are you kidding me? I'm going to let that rinse down for a bit. Okay, I rinsed it. I didn't stain my shower, at least not too bad. And I don't know if how good it's showing up on camera, but it is like a light baby pink color. We'll have to see what it actually looks like when it dries. Um, definitely not as bright pink as I would have wanted it, but it is pinkish, I don't know. This was definitely not worth the effort. I wanna try and glitterify this giant ornament. Spray adhesive and glitter. Okay, that's a much better result. It's like a little dum-dum. And then if you put the clear wrapping paper or whatever kind of like wrapper around it. These are giving Adidas and I don't like it, so I'm gonna put glitter to see if that helps. That's cute, I like that better. I remembered I had another one of these, the white one. The white one has a gold top to it. The pink one had a silver top to it. That bothered me, so I just took gold spray paint and spray painted the top of this one. I think it looks pretty cute. Now I'm going to glitterify the white one the same way I did the pink one. This is the glitter I swept up off of my driveway from when I did the pink one, and it is surprisingly free from debris. So I'm just going to reuse it. Here's where we're at right now. I took my dollar store plates, I painted them. We have some solid colors, some peppermint type stuff. Um, I need to get yellow paint because I decided I wanted to include a yellow colored one, but that's just a placeholder for now. These solid colored ones are going to be turned into Skittles. So I am going to put white S's on them, which is perfect because our last name starts with S. I want to put them up on this top border of my garage doors as like a nice little trim. So I laid out my pattern to make sure I had enough and how I wanted it to look. For the S's, for the Skittles, of course, we are breaking out to the good old fashioned Cricut. And I have some white adhesive vinyl left over from previous projects that I'm just gonna cut a bunch of S's out. I measured one of the plates to see how big the S should be. Skittles S is a very simple thing. It's like just Helvetica font, basically. So I just went on Cricut, typed a letter S. I'm gonna print out a bunch of them and it should be pretty easy to just stick them on like a sticker. Anything is possible through Cricut who strengthens me. Y'all, I hung my dyed tree skirt out to dry outside, trying to do the right thing because I felt like the fabric was delicate, didn't want to put it in the dryer, but then it rained. 
So it just got more wet. And so then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put it in the dryer on the absolute lowest. So I put it on delicate. I put it on extra low because I didn't want it to melt because it had like a plasticky type of material to it. So let's see, moment of truth. <gasps> okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, I think it worked. Maybe all my efforts paid off. So it's gonna go right here. Y'all, it's perfect. Like the pink matches so well. I don't know if y'all can tell, but like that's cute. Okay, okay. And trust me when I say I could not find a pink tree skirt like this anywhere anywhere like not online not in stores anywhere but now i need something to go on these little ones because i don't like just the stand showing like that in previous years i just piled up stuffing as snow basically yeah i think i'm just gonna do that again so there's that with our little snow piles so i've been hanging on to all this styrofoam packing that came with some furniture that I ordered. I've been hanging on to it for like months now cause I knew I was gonna be able to use it for something. So it's like these squares of styrofoam. Reference image, first experiment. Kind of gives graham cracker, right? Right? I just um, cut the holes with a knife and then spray painted it brown. I want these to be the graham cracker shutters on either side of my main window in the front of my house. Okay, now I'm putting together four squares of styrofoam and I'm gonna use it to cut out the shape of like a snowflake cookie type shape. I don't know. I'm making this up, y'all. And it's gonna be like a gingerbread snow. So it's gonna be the same brown as that. I'm gonna put it on the outside of my house, like at the, on the main like front of my house to tie in these. As soon as I walk away, it fell down. <laughs> it fell down immediately. Okay, we're gonna go in with reinforcements. This is what I used. It is industrial strength, double-sided mounting tape. Holds up to 15 pounds. Like this ain't, this ain't no regular tape. Now, I've been using the dollar store version of this for everything else to tape up all these. These are super lightweight. Doesn't take much to hold it up, honestly. Well. Let me not speak too soon. I just went back and added a whole bunch of, I only had like three pieces of tape, I know. I don't know why I only put three pieces of tape on the back of it, but I like covered the whole back of it basically with a bunch of pieces of this tape and restuck it on there and pressed it on super hard. It feels more sturdy this time, we will see. six foot nutcracker that I originally wanted, the one that everyone is using for the nutcracker repainting DIYs, the real thing. I found it, they had one at one of my local Walmarts. I literally have been back to Walmart so many times. It took me weeks, weeks to track this down. One thing about me, when I have my 
my mind set on something, when I have my heart set on something. Oh my goodness. A little creepy, not gonna lie. Okay, so my plan for this guy is to do what you've seen all the girlies doing, which is just repaint him. I want to give him a, I wanna make him black, so we're gonna give him a darker skin tone. I'll probably maybe change his eye color and then changing the red and green parts to different shades of pink. But I'm not gonna show you guys that whole entire process in this video, this video is already long enough. I am going to try and make a TikTok about it though. So follow me on TikTok if you wanna see me painting this. All right, you guys, it is December 11th and I am finally done with my Christmas decorations, outdoor and indoor. So if you guys wanna see how everything turned out, make sure to be on the lookout for my Christmas house tour, which is going to be my next upload. Also stay tuned to my TikTok for a little sneak peeks of stuff in the meantime. And you can also check out my Christmas decorating playlist to see everything I've done over the years.